Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Jamie, aka the Bearded Brit here, bringing you some more XCOM 2, we're back for uh, episode 2. We've got Glasses Guy now, ready to go, ready to fight more aliens, he is a badass. And we're going to build, we're going to build a little facility. What should we build first? We have, uh, we're going to go Gorilla Tactics School because that is awesome. Like you can unlock the uh, squad size upgrade, that kind of thing, and you can train soldiers for like, to be specific classes which is pretty cool like tra uh, train your rookies to be spe specific classes damn I can't speak today so we need that that's pretty damn cool so we're gonna build that right off the bat and then we are gonna go to commander central have a look to see you on your feet again welcome to the bridge the nerve center of our operation the aliens have our entire world in their grip advent controls everything Government, communications, industry, not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. Why, thank you. Right, so where are we? Ah, oh, we're in West Africa this time. I started in America last time, so this is new. This is new to me. We're going to pass the time just by gaining some intel. Intel is pretty important. Uh, it helps you with a lot of things in the future. There we go. Weapon upgrades available. That's cool. So now I can uh, attach those weapon, like those weapon upgrades to my guns, which is pretty damn helpful. So we are going to keep that. Uh, hybrid materials. That is really slow. So we're going to wait for that for now. But we're just going to get some other stuff started. We're going to get uh, hybrid materials started because that advances on to better armor which is great uh, alien biotech fight like forwards the story but we're gonna wait we're gonna wait on that a little bit not too much but yeah we'll wait a little while on that it's not too important yet so it's gonna scan a little bit more see what we can find just gathering up some intel don't really need to do much right off the bat <clears throat> there's not too much going on at this point so there we go, we can do the nanoscale vest now, which I don't really use that much at the moment. But it's nice to just start the research, so then we can get the plated armor on the go when we have the stuff for it. But we're going to go biotech. Yes. Just a little spamming of some research just at the start. Hopefully we'll get a mission soon. That would be pretty good. Here we go. Right, review targets. We've only got one. And we're going to get an engineer from it, which is pretty cool. So let's go. Let's do that. Uh, who are we going to take? We're going to take this group. I feel like we should put some uh, rookies in there, but I don't know. I kind of want to take all these guys. I want to show off what they can do, but I might remove this guy and this guy. We're going to keep our ranger and our heavy because they are awesome. I absolutely love them. Uh, we're going to get Emily White in. She's got some amazing hair, so I'm already, I'm already back in her. She's going to be good. And then we are going to get this guy, Thomas. He's going to be a badass. Look at him. Look at that moustache. Anyone with a moustache like that is automatically a badass. Uh, we're going to change... I don't really like shotguns. I don't know why. I, they're good. I just don't... I don't really like them that much. So we're going to change it back to a assault rifle. Just because the range is a lot better. You don't have to get up as close. Obviously, like, with a sword, you're going to be quite close anyway. But you can dash in and slash someone down with that. So that's pretty cool. We are going to give... No, we can't do the personal combat stims yet, so I can't give him his 1 HP bonus, which is a bit of a shame. But shall we give the ammo upgrade to this guy? Or not? Uh, yeah, I feel like I will, actually. We're going to give it to him. He's earned it. He's got a badass look. So we're going to upgrade his weapon, just so he gets an extra like clip of ammo before he has to reload, which is pretty cool. So you can fire four times before reloading instead of three, which is always handy. And while we're here, we're going to pimp out this guy's gun as well. Where is it? Weapon upgrade. He's going to have an orange gun as well. Just because... What kind of orange? That's not really that orange. Ah, there we go. How about that? I bet that looks cool. And we're going to put a pattern on it as well. What can we have? What looks good? Uh, uh, happy faces is pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. I feel like that's, that's what this guy would have. If he was going to have something on his gun. There we go. He looks cool. I love this guy. Okay, we're not going to do too much. I could sit here all day and customise all these guys, but I might take this hat off this guy. Doesn't suit you. Uh, customise. Props. And there we go. 
Uh, do you want a hat? No. No hat. There we go. That looks better. I like it. There we go. Okay, she's got crazy hair. I like it. Okay, let's go. Launch mission. Like I said, I could literally like sit here all day and customize my characters because it's so in depth. There's so much you can change. It's awesome. I love it. Love it. Love it. But we won't do that. I might do that outside of recording and then show you what I've done, and what extreme, like extreme, ridiculous stuff I've come up with for my soldiers. That might be fun. That could be fun. Again, if you want your character in the game, just drop a comment below. I'll chuck you in. If there's anything you want, like a particular hairstyle or anything, or you know, anything like that, just let me know. I'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. I may put you in like crazy colours because that's always fun. Having like multicoloured teams is pretty good. But um, in my own playthrough, I had everyone in like jet black with like uh, bright blue guns with like tiger camo on it. It was awesome. They looked great. But um, I feel like I'm going to go a little bit crazy this time around. Have some fun. Put people in bright pink. Why not? It's all good. It's always fun to mess around. So what can we do here? Let's wreck some face. Are we concealed? Oh, we oh, we've got to go after it. Damn it, I should have bought my specialist. He can hack from range, which is pretty damn helpful. Didn't think about that. Didn't read the mission brief, did I? What an idiot. But anyway, we'll be fine. We can deal. It's going to move everyone up. Get me an overwatch. Uh, I might dash this guy out, actually. See if I can see anyone. Just so I can manoeuvre appropriately. But he doesn't spot anyone, so... That's all good. They might be around this way. So, Get the badass over here. Put him in full cover there. That's always good. Nice. No one there still. Okay, we're going to move this guy with him. So we're going to go two and two. It's always good to have like a little balance there. <clears throat> I do this quite a lot. Like I separate out and then meet up in the middle again. It's always pretty good to do. Just get a, more of a feel for what you're doing. Instead of clustering everyone up in a ball. Is it Argo again? Nope. Ah, aliens, a sectoid. <gasps> Damn it. Let's kill this guy. They look really weird in this game. They look awesome, don't get me wrong, they look so good. But they're kind of creepy. Like in the first game, they were quite cute. And they were like, ah, oh, it's a sectoid. In this, they are pretty fucking gross. I'm not going to lie. But uh, they look cool. They look really good. Like the alien design in this game is phenomenal. So, I will say that. They have done a damn good job with this game. I was like, I don't know, I wasn't like unsure whether it would be good because I absolutely loved this game. Like The first game had a lot of problems and I absolutely loved it. So that was never going to be an issue. Like, I was never going to hate it. So yeah, it's pretty good. I might launch a grenade over here. Where am I? Where am I? There. Sky, can you put a grenade over there? Yes, you can. Uh, why not? Grenade. Fuck it. Let's do it. I didn't put anyone on Overwatch, which maybe was an oversight, but I don't know. I feel like we'll be okay still. There we go. Lovely free damage. So I've only got to do five more damage to that sectoid now. So that should be pretty easy to do, hopefully. Fingers crossed, anyway. I might uh, bring the sword out, actually, and just chop this guy to pieces. I feel like that'd be fun to do. So let's slash this motherfucker up. Come on. Come on. Hit, hit, hit. Wow, yes. Yes. Oh, I love the sword. It's so like satisfying to just chop up aliens. Absolutely love it. Like uh, later on, you don't use it as much because some of the aliens are pretty dangerous and you don't want to get that close. But for now, it just absolutely rocks face. Like it's so damn good at this level because most things die in one hit from it. So that's always good. It's always pretty handy to be able to one shot everything. I love it. Hopefully we get a couple more rangers because I like to have okay. two. Like when I've got my full squad upgraded, I have two of those. Two heavies, one specialist, one sharpshooter. And that's how I do things until the end. And then I drop a ranger for a psyoperative, which are, they are fantastic. Like, I like rangers. They're good. But psyoperatives are legit as fuck. They are so damn good. So I might... Um, get to that quicker this time because I didn't I literally didn't use it until the last mission before because I constructed the Scilab so late but this time I might rush that a little bit because they are so powerful and you don't have to like level them up through missions which is pretty good like you can just put them in training 
for weeks and weeks and then they'll come out and they'll be like fully trained they'll be an absolute badass have like a ability bar as long as your screen at the bottom because they have so many abilities to use which is so good oh, I love it so we're gonna get get to that quite quickly obviously it's really late game stuff you don't unlock that for a long time but as soon as we can we will right, I might go rampage on one of these guys with my sword because they just hit me I'm not about that Go and kill it. Yes! Nice! Nice! That's her first shot and a first kill. She's doing pretty good and she got a promotion. Well earned. Uh, right. Slashy, slashy. Come on, fuck this guy up. Yeah! Love it. Right, he's he's already a badass. Like, as soon as he turned into a ranger, I was like, this, this is the guy. This guy's gonna be good. Obviously, you know, Glasses guy is still pretty legit. But he hasn't got a sword, unfortunately. If he had been my ranger, like he would have been the face of my army for the whole game. But, I don't know, Grenadier is pretty good too. They have their uses, that's for sure. Okay, uh, I don't want to dash everyone up just in case something pops out. I've only got four turns until I have to get to this place, so I've got to hurry up a little bit. Uh, it's only in here though, so I'm at the building it's in. So it's not too bad. Network is almost yeah, I know. Down. Calm down, You're Central. Get to that Such a grumpy old man, this guy. To put up with your shit for ages. But we're gonna dash him. Oh, why? Why are you stopping? It's only a human. There we go. Commander, we have Whew. Of the exposed access Thought it bugged point. out then. Oh, we got some advent. Right, so we're gonna overwatch the rest. Uh, depends on where these guys go. I might be able to get a sword attack off on one of them. I feel like that sectoid may be in range. Hopefully. Because if he is, he's going to get slashed up. Right. He's not in range. That, that is a shame. But we're going to go into the window. Hopefully. Can't see him. He's over there. Can I get a grenade on him? No. Okay, we're just going to go overwatch them. Because I don't want anyone to die. This guy's only on 2 HP. He's pretty damn low. Uh, hopefully no one dies. That would be pretty sad. Can you see it? Nope. Can you get a grenade on it? Nope. Overwatch it is then. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. Get some shots on. Uh, that's a hit. Another hit, please. Come on, sword guy. Yeah, another hit. He's got 1 HP left. Come on, free for free. Yes! Love it. That sectoid got fucked up. Right, what are we going to do now? We've got to get that loot. <clears throat> so if he stops there, I can run him with Sword Guy, slash him the fuck up, and pick up the loot on the same turn. That, that would be pretty handy <clears throat> if he let me do that. So, Sword Guy. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Plan is in effect. Slashy, slashy. Wow. There we go. And that loot is now mine. And he's in cover. Ah, oh, perfect. Come on, pick it up. There we go. Thank you. Allurium core. No weapon attachment, sadly, but that will do. Oh, we've got some backup coming in. So we're going to reposition. Uh, move you around there. Put you in Overwatch. Uh, we're going to unlock this. Hack the workstation. Hopefully you can see properly through those glasses. And he's got a terrible hack score, so none of these are going to actually get through. Which is a shame. But oh well. At least oh wait. Oh that's close. He done pretty well for uh, having such a shit tech score. <clears throat> I'm pretty impressed. He has got those badass glasses after all, so he's pretty damn cool. No, I don't want to go that close really. We'll go there. That's close enough. Uh, and we'll go and overwatch. See what they bring down. There'll probably be an officer, maybe, and two normal troopers. That would be my guess. No, it's just three normal troopers, I think. No officer. Yeah. They're going easy on me. Going very easy on me. That's a shock. Yeah, just three normal troopers. This will be easy then. Uh, hopefully I can bring the sword out. Kill another one. And there's my first miss. Is he going to miss as well? No, he's not. Love it. At least we've got one down. That makes my job very easy from here on out. 
He's got promotion. It's all going perfectly. Hopefully I can get Sword Guy a promotion as well while we're here. He's in range. And he can strike. I don't know where he's going. But <laughs> that's cool. That's a long way round, I would say. But whatever works. Whatever works for you. The pathing is really weird sometimes in this game. But there we go. Is he going to get a promotion? No, he's not. Uh, we're going to go with Glasses Guy. He's going to come up to the window. Roger that. Play peekaboo. And hopefully mow this guy down. 44% chance. Pretty low. And, oh god, this car's going to blow up now. God damn it, Glasses Guy. You failed me this time. Okay, so we're going to get her out of the way. Because I don't want her to blow up. <laughs> preferably. And gun this guy down. I just said her, but that was the guy. I moved. That's awkward. Did I just kill that woman? I did. I just killed that woman. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. I am so bad. Oh dear, oh dear. I meant to move her and not him. Oh Christ alive. Okay, so that's pretty damn shit. Oh fucking hell. I'm sorry, I can't help but laugh at that because that's funny. <laughs> okay, I didn't mean to do that. Ooh, there's an empty seat on there now. <laughs> sorry. Okay, I'm gonna pull my shit together. That was that was funny. But yeah. Uh, not too good. 0% success on my shots. I don't think that's right somehow. But anyway, yeah, that, that was pretty messed up. I'm not going to lie. I did not mean to do that at all. Whew. Okay, that tickled me quite a bit. Right, we're back. We're back. We're back home. Uh, we're a person light <clears throat> because of a fatal error on my part. Oh, Christ. Put that in a best of. That was horrendous. Whew. Okay, he's a sniper. We're never going to find out what she would have been. Oh, because she's dead. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay, we're going to go Blade Master because you get an extra two damage on your sword attacks, which is always good. Uh, the more damage, the better, honestly. And we got some sectoid corpses, we got some trooper corpses, and an Allurium core, which uh, we can't really use yet, so we're going to forget about that. Oh, dear. <clears throat> Commander, the council you once knew is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the resistance from the inside. It was these resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent Black Site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this Black Site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. Freaking love that guy's voice. So good. The guy that does the honest trailers and stuff on YouTube as well. He's he's got such a great voice. Uh, anyway, I've um, pulled myself together after that fatal error, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can not make a terrible mistake like that again. That would be good. So we're going to assign that engineer to this so it constructs a little bit quicker which is what we want and that's going to be it for this episode uh, we're going to go to the memorial just to remember Emily White uh, she didn't have a very good day unfortunately uh, commander error that's for sure anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video
Hope you found that as funny as I did because that was ridiculous. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.